dear students i am dr k sarita today i would like to talk about the origin of caste system in india it is difficult to tell the origin of caste system but some of the theories regarding the origin of caste system like racial theory political theory occupational theory religious theory guild theory an evolutionary theory they tried to trace out the origin of caste system in india in the forthcoming slides i am going to discuss about these theories one by one before discussing the theories about the origin of caste system we must understand the origin of the word caste caste the word came from latin word castus which means their caste also it came from portuguese word casto which means pure or unmixed sometimes it will be used to mean about separated the word arrived in english through the portuguese casta which means race or lineage and it was first used from 16th century in reference to the hinduism's system of social stratification to mention about the division of people in india now we can discuss about racial theory according to dr mazumdar the caste system took its birth after the arrival of aryans in india in order to maintain their separate existence the indo aryans used for certain groups and orders of people with the favorite word varna which means color thus they spoke of the dasa varna also or more properly about the dasa people in rigvedic literature it stresses very significantly about the differences between the arya and dasa not only in their color but also in their speech religious practices and physical features so the three classes that is brahma kshatriya and vaishya are frequently mentioned in the rigveda the name of the fourth class the shudra occurs only once in rigveda so the first two classes that is brahma and kshatriya represented broadly the two professions of the poet priest and the warrior chief so vaishya comprised all the common people the last the sudra class represented for domestic servants almost very near to the position of slaves on the relations subsisting between the four classes but the rig veda has little to say however the brahmin is definitely said to be superior to the kshatriya so the caste system originated on the basis of race is the argument of dr mazumdar so what the political theory is saying about the origin of caste system that we can see in the next slide so now we can see about the political theory how that uh, caste system have been originated it will be explained through this theory so according to this theory the caste system is a clever device invented by the brahmins 
in order to place themselves on the highest ladder of social hierarchy dr g s gure states caste is a brahmanic child of indo aryan culture cradled in the land of the ganga and then transferred to other parts of india so the brahmanic literature of the post vedic period mentions about certain mixed classes and outcast classes the mixed classes named sankara jati and also a group of outcast classes called andhya vazain means decided to be lost so these are all the two important caste classes mentioned in brahmanic literature of the post vedic then among the four varnas the old distinction of arya and shudra there is a racial difference now appears as tvaja and shudra the first three classes are called tvaja which means twice born caste because they have to go through the initiation ceremony that is wearing sacred thread or the thread to be weared crossed over the body which is the symbolic of rebirth so the sudra was called ek jati that is once born caste other three classes called tvaja that is twice born caste the word jati is hence forward employed to mean the numerous sub division of a varna however this demarcation is not rigidly maintained the word jati is sometimes used for varna in the brahmin period the position of the brahmins increased manifold and the other three lower classes are ordered to live according to the teaching of the brahmin who shall declare their duties while the king also is exhorted to regulate his contact accordingly so the pre eminence of the brahmin had secured him with many social privileges sanctioned by the law givers also the statement that god created the shudra to be the slave of all is repeated and he is given the name of padaja that is born from the feet as the priestly influence grew in india complicated rules of ritual and contact were built up and incorporated into the religious books the brahmins closed their ranks and tried to maintain their superiority over the other classes so it is true that in the beginning where there is no rigid restrictions but slowly and gradually the idea of separation stiffened it was first the ritual and ceremonial purity which was time went on to con took an exaggerated aspect so on distinction between the pure and impure has been begin so restrictions were imposed on food and drink even so in this way the caste had been came into indian sub subcontinent as 
described by political theory. In the next slide, we can see about occupational theory, which is explaining about the origin of caste system in India. Occupational theory. According to this occupational theory, the origin of caste system can be found in the nature and quality of social work performed by the various groups of people. Those professions which were regarded as better and respectable made the persons who performed them superior to those who were engaged in dirty professions. According to Nesfield, function and function alone is responsible for the origin of caste structure in India. With a functional differentiation, there came an occupational differentiation and numerous sub-castes such as Lohar, Sonar, Chamar, Banghi, Barhai, Batwa, Teli, Nei, Damboli, Kahar, Gadaria, Mali, and even in Tamil, Parayan, Tachan, etc. came into existence on the basis of their occupations. Next, we can see about the traditional theory. But what that occupational theory is insisting about the origin of caste system is the function and the function, function alone is the reason behind the differentiation among the people. That is occupation, what the people have done or engaged with what kind of occupation is only decided the caste of the people. That is the argument of Nesfield. So in the next slide, we can see about the traditional theory. Traditional theory of origin of caste system. According to this theory, the caste system is of divine origin. It says the caste system is an extension of the Varna system where the four Varnas originated from the body of Brahma. At the top of the hierarchy where the Brahmins who were mainly teachers and intellectuals and came from Brahma's head, Kshatriyas, or the warriors and rulers, came from his arms, Vaishyas, or the traders, were created from his thighs. At the bottom were the Shudras who came from Brahma's feet, the mouth signifies its use for preaching, learning, etc. The arms for protections, thighs to cultivate or do any business and the feet helps the whole body. So the duty of the Shudra is to serve all the others. And the subcaste emerged later due to intermarriages between the four Varnas. The proponents of this theory cite Purusha Shukta of Rigveda, Manusmati, etc. to support their stand. So according to this theory, the Lord of Creator have created the four kind of people from his body is the belief. Apart from these four Varnas, one more Varna 
that is panjamas mentioned us outcast people who do the service to all other four varnas this is the origin of caste system of traditional theory now we can see about the guild theory of origin of caste system according to this theory denzel ibsen have described about the origin of caste system through this theory as he mentions about caste or the modified forms of guilds in his opinion the caste system is the product of interaction of three forces or three groups like tribes guild system guild system is nothing but an association of people with similar interest or pursuits specifically or a medieval association of merchants or craftsmen so the guilds system the tribes and the religion made the caste system so the tribes adopted certain fixed professions and assumed the form of guilds in ancient india the priest enjoyed greater prestige they were a hereditary and endogamous group so the other guilds also adopted the same practices and in course of time became the caste member of that particular group so the interaction between the tribes the guild system and the religion have created the caste system this is the argument of denzel ibsen in guild theory of origin of caste system in india